This song is dedicated to all of those people who have lost a loved one, precious and dear to them. And this song is called On Eagle's Wings, and it is based off of the book of Psalms, chapter 91. And this is a psalm that promises that God will protect us, his children, in every trial that we face. In every situation, he is always there. And we are protected, just like on eagle's wings. We will be under his wings. He's our refuge and strength. That That's some of the the lyrics to the song. So I hope that it touches your heart and ju- just let it speak to your soul. And, and I pray that you find peace and comfort in these words that I'm going to sing. And may God bless you and keep you until we meet again. Amen. Oh
shine like the sun and hold you in the palm of his hand and hold you he'll hold you in the Again, I hope this has blessed your heart as the song has touched mine. And I send this out to a very special YouTuber named Christina Grimby. She was killed just over two weeks ago. It's almost three weeks ago come this Friday. But you know what? God was in her life, so we know where she is. She was protected under the wings of God. And so we can have hope in knowing we will see her one day soon. So all those who have known her, who have met her when she was in a music and had the music career i pray for you i ask that god touch and heal your broken hearts and to everyone else who has lost a loved one i ask the same thing i ask god to touch and heal your heart and your soul and if this song has touched your life and touch your soul, and you want a newness of life. You want that peace that you cannot find. You want the want the hope that Christina had, that everyone who has God has had when they were here on this earth. I invite you to pray this simple prayer with me. It is laid on my heart that this needs to be done. All you need to do to give your life to God is say these simple words with me. Father, forgive me. I know that I am a sinner. I repent of my sins. Come into my heart. Come into my life. Save me right this very minute. And from this moment forward, I will live for you and serve you as my Lord and Savior. In Jesus' name, amen. Friends, if you prayed that simple prayer and meant it, congratulations. You have just received Christ. And I encourage you to grab yourself a Bible and read it on a daily basis because it is the basis of how we should live our lives in the correct way. I also encourage you to pray yourself, just like we prayed here to accept Jesus into our heart. We should pray on a daily basis because prayer is the communication with God. It is the direct line to God. It is our phone line, per se, to God. And unlike a regular phone, you might get a busy signal, or you might get a voicemail, and you might have to leave a message. But, my friends, unlike that, God is always, always, always ready and willing to listen to our problems and to our needs. So if you have problems today, give them over to God. And when you give them to Him, do not turn back. You move forward and leave the problems at His feet. Because God cares about you so much 
that he sent his only begotten son to save the world, not to condemn the world. So that is a place where we can truly, truly find peace. But regardless of all that, e even though we ourselves have the inner peace, there's going to be famine, wh which I talked about in my song today. There's going to be famine. There's going to be people that are still going to harm other people for no apparent reason at all. But when we rely on the shed blood of Jesus that has paid the price, the ultimate sacrifice for us, then we know we will win the victory, even though we would die tomorrow. So thank you, friends, for listening to my song and to these words. And I ask that God bless you, and I will keep praying for each and every one of you to n come to the knowledge of knowing that God is in control. Amen. God bless you.